Hello and welcome to Gospel and Spade. Today we are going to examine the Black Obelisk, which is dated to the late 9th century BC, which is currently located at the British Museum in London. This obelisk was discovered in 1846 at Kalhu in Assyria, or modern-day northern Iraq, by Henry Laird, and was deciphered by Edward Hinks in 1851. This black limestone monument, covered in cuneiform text and images, was commissioned by the Neo-Assyrian king Shalmaneser III, who reigned between 858 and 824 BC. It was created to celebrate his various military victories and the different tributes that he received from foreign kings from across the Near East. The importance of this artefact to biblical history is that the second panel from the top has the earliest known representation of an Israelite king present on it, along with an inscription naming that particular king. This particular scene represents King Jehu of Israel, who can be found in 2 Kings chapter 9-10 to in the Old Testament. In the scene we see Jehu bowing down in submission in front of Shalmaneser III and giving tribute to the king of Assyria. The cuneiform inscription reads, The Tribute of Jehu of the House of Omri. The Bible tells us that Jehu was the son of a man named Nimshai, which can be found in 2 Kings chapter 9 verses 2 and 3. The term son or house of Omri found on the black obelisk could either be an Assyrian mistake or, more likely, it is simply referring to Jehu as being a successor to the throne of Israel. Omri, who can be found in 1 Kings chapter 16, had been an important and powerful king earlier in the kingdom of Israel's history, who had founded the dynasty that Jehu had destroyed. It would only be natural, therefore, for the Assyrians to associate the new king Jehu with the old dynasty, even though he was apparently not directly related to the old dynasty. This monument therefore makes mention of two Israelite kings outside of the Bible. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.